Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, it's really moving to look at all of you. Uh, I really feel privileged and honored to be able to speak to you today. And I would have thought as Patrick that I will be standing in international gathering four years ago when I joined a meditation center. And my reason was exactly as Patrick. It was scientifically proven that meditation <laughs> supports the way how the brain functions. So this was my reason. There is a scientific proof, so go ahead and try the meditation out. And then I walked through the doors and I was just like, it was like amazing to see the warmth of the people, welcoming smiles. So it was something which reconnected me with my very childhood experience when I was walking around and just going to people and introducing myself as a small child, this kind of connection, interconnectedness. And it was really strongly felt in the Sangha, which was amazing. And then with experiencing retreats and teachers coming from UK, um, after two years I asked to be a Mitra, and after four months I asked for a donation. And I, and I came, it was kind of obvious that if I really feel that this is my path, that this is the next step to go, to go further. And it was amazing to come here on my first uh, Jeffa retreat last June, you know, with all of the sorts of feelings. In Poland, I knew everyone. We have small retreats, so I knew people. Everything is nice and cozy, and then I'm going to UK. English is my first language. I don't know the people, how it will be, and ha, 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 ha. I will find myself, all the stuff. And then I came. <coughs> into uh, Tiratana Loka, and <coughs> the moment I went into the premises, it was magic there. And I was welcomed so warmly that even that the language was different, we had different conditioning. There was something very common. So when we started to speak, uh, it was amazing to see the same longing of the hearts, the same inspiration, the same aspiration, and also the same pains. The same situation which all of us has when we uh, see our unskillfulness and it is painful. When we see our selves and it is painful and that we all share that. It doesn't matter from when we are that this kind of common, uh, common element goes through our conditioning. And definitely the conditioning in Poland is different. Um, we are very much... Um, Catholic based, so 90% of Poles are Catholic, and you will see that because of communism, we were in a very uh, homogeneous society. So, for some of uh, our um, Sangha members, it might be very difficult to say that they are Buddhist. One of my friends said that uh, when, when talking to a parent about us, she heard you burn in hell. So, it might be really very hard and courageous to say that you are Buddhist because of a really high homogeneity of the society. Mm. And then what we see, that quite often people, quite fast, ask for ordination after being a mitra, because when they recognize that this is their path, they would like to take it farther. And there's also something that is quite visible uh, in terms how many of our GFR mitras are outside of Poland. Many of them, they really strive to go and to really immerse in Dharma experience what it's like to live in the community, how it's like to uh, work for right livelihood. So this is something that I experience here and I'm experiencing. This is also the reason why I'm on the Dharma Life course and also inspired by Anya, who did the first course. So this, and as I've said, although we have different conditions in Poland, we have a bit different conditions and conditioning anywhere, it's very really amazing to see how this heart longing combines us, how it is common and unites us. And this gathering really, uh, I will feel it here. So thank you very much.